like slapping somebody today. Slap, slap. Slapping somebody today. So we shout, Rebecca. We shout. Time for another edition of Slap Somebody. Who we gonna slap? Oh, you're gonna love this one, Rebecca. Mm-mm. Last time you said that to me, no. Parents. <laughs> Parents lose their three-year-old in a corn maze. Great. <laughs> and don't realize it until the next morning. Yeah. Wow, you know, losing track of your kid in a corn maze isn't a big deal. You're like, for a little moment, we're, you know, what's going on? Uh, where's Junior? That's corn mazes. They're, they're kind of like, you know, you lose yourself, you find yourself, all that stuff. But losing track of your kid in a corn maze and not realizing it until the next day, that's a whole different level right there. I'm just saying. I'm calling bull crap on that one. A family went to a corn maze in West Jordan, Utah on Monday night, and the parents lost track of their three-year-old son. But somehow they didn't realize it until the next morning Mm-mm. when they called the cops and told them their son might still be in the corn maze. Wow. I feel like somebody today. Mind you, you're, <laughs> you're on the phone, you're on hold, you're on the issue, you explain to the you're not at the corn maze. Oh my god! Like frankly, looking through the damn corn. Yes. You're not. You're not doing that. You're on the phone saying, "Could you go check? He might be there." Wow. That's insane. Fortunately, someone else found the kid on Monday night. But the little kid, the little kid, couldn't tell them enough about himself to to, to uh, find his family. So he just wound up with Child Protective Services for the night just until they found out, you know, went through all the stuff and put it out there. Hey, we have a kid here. Uh, so far, no charges have been filed, but the police are investigating how it possibly took the parents so long to call them. They're like, what the heck? What's going on here? Yeah, because honestly, I can't even leave the grocery store <laughs> without, you know, if I'm missing a kid. Yeah. Well, they called Tuesday morning. Mm-mm. They were all at the farm on Monday night. With the kettle corn and the poppers <laughs> and the... And the, and the potato sack slide. Yes. When he didn't you come down the from the videos. potato sack slide. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is horrible. Anyways, the cops may have a... They have, they have an inkling, though, on maybe how this happened. How? What well, is their theory? Because the parents showed up and they brought their other kids to the um, police station. They better have 20. They had 10 other kids. <laughs> this is Home Alone. The damn movie where they take 10 kids to the airport and they don't realize Kevin's not there. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You mean, you're, Kevin! You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> this is exactly... In fact, this is Home Alone 5. Uh, Make it. The corn maze. <laughs> Kevin gets lost in the corn maze for three days. And Joe Pesci's over there trying to, you know, hit him in the head with, like, Tom and Jerry. (laughs) Please let that happen. Please, let's do another Home Alone for these clowns. This is the perfect plot for the next Home Alone movie. I'm just saying. Oh, my God. Okay, we have audio. I don't know who's talking here. Um, Oh, it's Josie who runs the corn maze. Oh, what up, Josie? (laughs) It was pretty upsetting. The little boy was found right around this area. And they were just talking and trying to get his name, trying to keep him calm. They got him to say his brother's name, but that was about it. About 7.42 this morning, our officers responded on a missing child report. They went to the corn maze last night, returned home, didn't realize till this morning that the three-year-old was missing. Noticed there was a fair number of children in the home, multiple families. The fact that it took so long for them to realize the child was missing, was it purely an accident? What what what, what were the circumstances? It, mm-hmm. It's the damn Home Alone movie. That's what it is. Yeah. That's what it what is. What are the circumstances? This family has too many kids and they can't keep up with them. Gosh. So, yes, yeah, right here. Mom and dad. And I would slap the 10 other kids, but we don't have enough time for that. <laughs> okay? We ain't got enough time for that. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, yeah, when the parents did the head count at night of all the kids getting in their PJs and yeah. getting into bed. Not a good thing. You know, they must have, one, two, skip a few, ten. Yeah, they're like, uh, was there nine or ten? Oh, you know, there always is nine or ten. You're right. Okay, let's go to bed. Oh. Done.
while the kids over there trying to find, you know, as it is, I can never find my way out of those damn corn mazes, let, let alone a three year old. For real. Okay. And why gotta be the three year old? Why can't it be the, you know, one of the older kids? Yeah. Like a teen, it's that like not wanting to be found. <laughs> Thank you, you know, I'm like, uh-uh, I don't want to go home anyway. My mom got me. So, uh, but no, it's got to be three year olds still wandering the, around, yes. all children of the corn. Yes. Yes, he's out there. Children I'm telling the you corn. right now, if I'm those workers working in that corn maze, <gasps> and this kid's wandering around, I'm and like, you just see the little kid out there in the night. He's oh, like, Mom, okay. I'm no, like, ah! I can't find my mommy. Mm-mm. Oh no, that's I'm a scary. Like, nope. No wonder they all took off. They're like, uh-uh, this kid's it's a ghost. Not doing it. No.